uh, John, when y'all play yeah, that yeah. song, when y'all play the Sidewinder Lee, well, that's a party I want to go to. I oh, want to be invited God. to that party in 19... What, 65? When was that? 63. 63. I want to go to that party and hear that song, like, everybody hearing that for the first time. Ooh, oh, my, my gosh. goodness. i tell you a party I want to go to tonight, What's this that? show, because yeah. Jennifer Hudson is going to be out here. Whoa! And... Come on! Jay Hunt about to tear You know, down. I'm grateful. Yeah. I'm happy and grateful for any of our guests who come out here. Mm -hmm. But as I was telling these people a little bit before, we got a little bit of taste of Jennifer's performance in rehearsal today. And they're going to have to bring in structural engineers into this building <laughs> to make sure this dwelling is safe after Hold this performance because she's going to rip the roof off of this place. She's about to tear it down. Unbelievable. Oh, we, might have to shut, we might have to shut Love down. We might have, this might be the last show tonight. Right. We might have to close out after this. <laughs> Looking forward to it. You know, folks... I spent a lot of my time on the show, right over there, mm. precisely measuring the news's inseam, selecting the finest, most topical, imported merino story wool, then hand stitching it with jokes to create for you the bespoke, double breasted Seville Row current event suit that is my monologue. But sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, I like to gather up some used burlap from behind the meat packing plant, drape it over an abandoned mannequin at an old man Jenkins burned down dress factory, sewed together with shoestrings and a staple gun to create for you the haunted potato sack scarecrow of news that is my segment. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's a pack horse of entertainment. A mountain. It is a mountain of potential court cases. Meanwhile, <laughs> scientists say a prehistoric lion cub discovered in Siberia is the best preserved ice age animal ever found. Sorry, Clint Eastwood, you're out of the top slots. <laughs> Meanwhile, New York isn't the only state with a big gubernatorial sex scandal because a Utah resident is demanding Governor Spencer Cox change his obscene last name. <laughs> Writing, I do not know if you know this, but when people say your surname, it sounds like the word <laughs> It's obscene. Us decent people here in Utah will not stand for it. <laughs> when I hear your name, all I can think about is penises. Also, when I look at tall buildings, cucumbers, ketchup bottles, those clicky pens with four different colors, it's not like generations of sexual repression have tainted me. Oh, no, I just said taint. I'll see myself out. A good day, sir. Meanwhile, oh, I'm not, still, still the same story. <laughs> I was sure I was moving on. Plus, whoever this is clearly doesn't know their own state's actual history of actual Utah governors like Alfred Cumming, <laughs> Stephen S. Harding, George Lemuel Woods, Norman H. Bangerter, and Lance R. Sex Penis. <laughs> Meanwhile, Meanwhile, in coffee news, due to rising bean costs, Starbucks says they could increase prices. Wait a second. You're telling me that my $9 latte might become expensive? <laughs> Meanwhile, in food news, the fall pumpkin menu at Dunkin' will launch earlier than ever before, featuring pumpkin-flavored muffins, apple cider donuts, and, of course, pumpkin spice lattes, all available starting August 18th. <laughs> because when you're walking around in 95-degree heat, you know what really hits the spot? Spicy hot milk. <laughs> Meanwhile, a research vessel exploring more than a mile under the surface of the Atlantic Ocean made a surprising discovery, a sponge that looked like SpongeBob SquarePants <laughs> And right next to it, a pink sea star that resembled Patrick, SpongeBob's best friend. Here's a look. Wow! <laughs> it actually... That really looks like them. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure we can show that on CBS. Jim? Thank you. <laughs> Meanwhile, most kittens see their owners as parents, a new study has found. Okay? So everyone stop complaining when I'm breastfeeding my cat. <laughs>
We're not weird, you're weird. We'll be right back with Jennifer Hudson.